CTO. Uh, CTO. Two months back with mild LV dysfunction, EF around 40%. CAG revealed triple cell disease. As you can see in this angiography, uh, there is a mid-segment L6 obstruction of, of 100%, which was tinted with a good end result. RC had a discrete lesion in the mid portion, which was again stunted with a good end result. Uh, right now, our plan is to take care of the LAD, which you can see here as a proximal occlusion of 100%. And uh, we plan to open it. We have a good proximal early diagonal branch in this case. We'll go live now. Okay. Saito, sir, your mic on, sir. Yeah, you are on. Yes. Sir. You are on. Okay, okay. Can you hear me? Yes, very well. Okay, uh, this is a patient after the recanalization of uh, circumflex acute myocardial infarction. And the patient has uh, this kind of uh, uh, subtotal occlusion in proximal LAD. Okay, so the, this is the target today. I want to take the XTA with a microcatheter. Yes, uh, microcatheter, uh, 135, yeah. One at the place, one at the place, one at the place, one at the place, one at the place. Can you expand on your strategy for us? So it's a single access, seven French radial, is that yeah. or six French? Uh, six radio? French. And your plan is a microcatheter and anti-grade uh, field XTA? Mm. Yeah. Needle. Uh, Needle. Introducer. Okay. Okay. Saito Sensei? Yes. Yes, uh, I'm Akasaka speaking. Yes. Yeah, for me, uh, it is not so difficult, uh, difficult for you to, to perform PCA, but uh, are there any uh, wonderful tips and tricks for the beginner in this case? Could you give us uh, yes, a suggestion? Okay, it's uh, very important. Okay, uh, actually this case is not a real CTO case. It's, uh, you know, 99% of narrowing. However, the, uh, uh, in turn, that means the, the most narrowest part is, should be not so hard, very easy to be a, you know, penetrated. So the uh, important tips is uh, we have to take the not so much stiff wire, okay? And the second one is, uh, you know, if you are taking uh, not so much stiff wire in this kind of case, it might be very difficult to cross the region because of the, the wire is not so stiff. Mm -hmm. So then it is better to take the hydrophic coating wire mm -hmm. to reduce the friction I between see. the wire and the, the vessel. So the, the best choice in this situation is to take the XTA wire okay. from Asahi. All right. And uh, of course, uh, we have to uh, get uh, some kind of uh, manipulation uh, ability. Mm -hmm. That means we need a uh, microcatheter. Mm -hmm. so, 
I'm starting from the combination of micro catheter, that is uh, uh, Carabel, Carabel yes. and uh, XTA, okay. both uh, Asahi products. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The tip of the wire is in LED. Yes. Okay, this is uh, at the point of most narrowest part. Yes. Then I am um, keeping the wire just in place mm -hmm. here. Yes. The tip is not moving. Mm -hmm. And then I'm pushing gradually, pushing the micro catheter mm -hmm. into the vessel. Okay. okay, then I try to cross the, this vessel. Okay, crossed. But don't push too fast mm -hmm. because sometimes the wire is very easily creating the dissection. Mm -hmm. So it's very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, the wire is uh, very easily going to the septal branch. This is uh, in the main room. Mm -hmm. Okay. As far as uh, possible, I want to push the, this wire deeply into the distal vessel because uh, it increases, uh, you know, support mm -hmm. of the any device mm -hmm. over the wire. Then. Maybe I can continue to use this wire. Mm -hmm. However, there is some risk of making perforation yes. by the tip. So the, I want to ex exchange the wire to the uh, work so horse wire. Okay. Wha what is that? Run through. Run through, okay. Mm -hmm. Run through. So I have to cross uh, this micro catheter through the region. Yeah. Okay, I try it. I'm keeping the wire just in place and try to push, mm -hmm. but cannot do it. Okay, yes. then the situation is different mm -hmm. because I cannot cross the micro catheter. Mm -hmm. So it might be difficult to exchange the wire. Mm -hmm. In that case, we have a different choice of strategy. Yes. This is a six French, so I may take the anchoring balloon that means uh, I put another wire to the some uh, proximal branch mm -hmm. and then put the balloon there and inflate the balloon in the proximal branch. It fix the guiding catheter mm -hmm. into the left coronary artery. Mm -hmm. However, please look at the anatomy. Mm -hmm. I cannot find any proximal branch. Yes. So anchoring balloon may not work. Mm -hmm. So in this case, uh, the, the easiest way is to take uh, one point, the smallest size of balloon. Ah, 1.25? Mm -hmm. 1.25. And however, I have to remove this micro catheter mm -hmm. from the uh, coronary artery and then because this is a hydrophic stiff wire, yes. slippery wire, so it is very difficult to, to remove this micro catheter by using this, uh, you know, uh, how to say, yeah, mm, uh, by pushing Continu the uh, end by com the mm, compression yes, uh, yes. device. So the, okay, if this is uh, not a uh, uh, stiff wire, hydrophic wire, mm -hmm. I can just connect mm -hmm. and then push by this manifold. Mm -hmm. However, it's very diff dangerous to, it may push the wire, slippery wire deeply into the coronary artery mm -hmm. and then may make a perforation. Yeah. 
So the 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 way how to do it is uh, just I want to put the two point five millimeter balloon okay. here. Two point okay? five. That is a trapping technique. Yeah. 2.5. Anyone? 12. 12. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. Mm. Okay. Yes. Uh, my simple question is mm. there are lots of uh, micro cassette. Mm. Why Saito sensei choose the color bell in this case? Uh, because uh, somebody, somebody, <laughs> you know, posted <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> Very simple reason, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is a simple 2.5 millimeter balloon. You know, we don't need any wires. Just push this. Huh? Cannot? Oh yeah. Okay, just push this balloon. And uh, you know, Can uh, can you see the still not marker? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Balloon. So many balloon. Hmm. Yes. Okay, coming. The balloon is coming. Okay, maybe here you can inflate. Yes, please. Four At six. Six. Okay, this is uh, you know anchoring the wire within the guiding catheter. So by keeping this uh, maneuver, I can safely remove the micro catheter while keeping the wire still in position, okay? I'm, uh, I'm putting back the micro catheter. Okay, it's safe procedure. However, it is better to make everything very slowly, okay? Now I got uh, the wire, and then next deflate, and uh, I remove this uh, anchoring balloon, trapping balloon, and then I'm waiting for the blood air came back. Okay. So now this wire is uh, single, alone in the LAD. So next step is to take the Shortest smallest balloon. size of balloon. balloon. Mm, yeah. Any question? Any question from the panel or 15, audience? With 10 or 15? Hmm? 10, 15. Uh, 15. 15. Mm. 1.5? How about 2.5? Okay. Oh, okay, 10. Oh, 1.25. So we have a 1.25 millimeter balloon, so I, I'll take it. You, you want to use IVAS or anything else? IVAS, yes. Okay. IVAS, please open the IVAS. Can I see the tip? Tip, tip. Wire tip. Okay. The balloon is coming. Okay, the balloon is coming. Oh. Still some resistance. Oh, it's okay, gone. close. Okay, here. Ah, might be. It was uh, more difficult than I have expected. Expected. Okay. Going again? Yes. Here. Okay. Test. 
Yeah. One more. Okay, here. Yeah. Sixteen. Okay. Okay. Okay, shall we take a picture? Yes, we got it. Hmm. I think... Uh, no, this bigger size balloon? Uh, yes, 2.5. No, previous balloon? 2.5, 15. The previous one... Oh. Anchor, previous anchor balloon is 2.5, 15. I take it to the predilect. Then I will do IBUS. Then place a stand. Okay, so shall we take uh, angiography? Okay. Okay. Hmm. So, you know, this XTA is very, very thick in density. So it is very difficult to evaluate the region from uh, angiography. So I want to change the wire. Okay. okay? Oh, so can I have a run through, please?
So, shall we do IBUS? Okay. <coughs> Have you given nitro? Yeah. Hmm. Nitro. Do we have uh, any uh, pictures of the left uh, LED origin? Are we going to stand all the way back to the left main? Is that the plan, or will you use IVAS to help guide that? Yes, after IVAS. I, I will decide. Okay, IVAS. intracoronary nitroglycerin before yes. IOS, please? Yes. Okay. We have given the nitroglycerin. Okay. Uh, maybe from here. Okay, okay start. start. This is a quite normal portion, no? Could you show us Can the IVAS? Somebody. Could you show us IVAS? IVAS. Can you see? Okay, yes, now we can see. Ah, yes. Okay. <coughs> From uh, my, um, uh, my standing point, it's very far to the IVAS screen. Huh. It's a very okay, the region is starting. No? It's, it's a br branch. Yes, comes mm. in. Yes. Mm. Diagonal. Diagonal, yes. Mm. The only small amount of calcium. Mm. But the mainly fibrous. Mm. Mm, yeah. Yes. The vessel is one to three millimeter. Ah, yes, yes. And this plaque. Uh, some clarification. Yes. Mm. Mm. It's uh, mm. and then we have to check the osteo LED yes. as well. Now coming. Oh. Yeah, yes, some yes. Uh, some plaque. Yeah. Oh. It continued to the, the left main, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh. This is a left main. Yes, hmm? this is a left main. Left main. So the previous one was a uh, sack. Oh. At the 6 p.m., at uh, 6 o'clock, we could see suck. This is still left main body. Uh, okay, okay, I stop. So, could you repeat uh, playback? Repeat. Hmm. And uh, I want to take a picture of uh, spider view. Spider view to check the uh, LA codal. Is it possible? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah. Ah. We have a big diagonal. Big right? diagonal. Uh, right. Yeah.
So, it's a question how to place the stand. Yes? Yeah? Ah, okay, thank you. Just a moment, I... Okay, so how you... Ah, okay. <laughs> could, you, could you repeat? Yes, at the ostium of LED, there is a big bifurcation. This is the picture. Ah, this is the original picture. This is after uh, two, no, no, no. Uh, next one is after 2.5 millimeter balloon dilatation. And this is IBUS. And this one, after 2.5 millimeter balloon dilatation. So the problem is uh, big diagonal. Yeah. Uh, ready? Yeah. Yes. So, can I have one more wire? Which one? Uh, work hose, regular. Okay, I place uh, another wire to proximal diagonal artery and then place a stand <coughs> from LAD to LAD. Just, you know, cross over in the diagonal. This is okay. So, okay, Saito Sensei plan to uh, put a stand cross over the diagonal, right? Yes. Uh, the size of the <coughs> vessel of LED and diagonal is equivalent, or yes. diagonal is uh, really bigger. bigger, bigger, right? Yes, yes. But, uh, after uh, uh, some time of uh, total occlusion, LED might be uh, shrinked. Mm. Uh, yeah, so mm. nearly equivalent, right? Mm. So, yes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, also the, the by angio, the, the, the angle of LED and uh, the diagonal is very narrow, so there are some risk of the, the pinch of the diagonal branch <coughs> if you cross over the stent. Yes. So you, you are thinking about the uh, kissing balloon after uh, there are some pinch. Yes. In, in, okay, thank you. Yes. So the problem is uh, the size of the stent. Now I'm thinking that uh, the diameter should be 3 O. And the length is, uh, uh, I don't know the length. Can you check by IBUS? Uh, yeah, 
So from the normal part, yeah. Which one? Uh, where? This distal one. Distal is where? In the longitudinal yeah, view. Ah, oh, that way, too distal. Oh, already. Uh, yeah, more this, more proximal. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. Uh, can I see change the epicranium? epicranium? No, before that. No. No, 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 no. No. no after that. Yeah, yes. yeah, this one. Actually, no branch, no diagonal. Only septal. Can you identify where is the septal branch? Where is the septal branch? That might be the septal. That is the septal. So from there to the proximal already. Proximal already. Uh. Diagonal, okay. More proximal, more proximal. Okay, around, around there. Yes. Mm. 21. 31. 31. Lengths. Yeah. 31. And the diameter is 4O. At the proximal part. So, and but the distal is 2.5. So maybe I want to take 3 o, 3 o by 32? 32. 3, Sa 3 o 32. 33 was that. 33. Mm -hmm. How do you think? Yeah. I mean, this is really going to. Yes, yes, on. Yeah, this is really going to be uh, an issue. I mean, the, I heard you discussing that mm. you know, this has been occluded for a while. It just may be a uh, much more narrow vessel now, but uh, I think it has room to grow. But I think the very proximal part uh, it clearly looks as though it's at least 3, 5, 4, 0. And then the only other strategy that some people may uh, think about is whether you stop the stent uh, before, the bif before the bifurcation. But I think in this case, it's probably better to cross the diagonal. Okay. okay. It, it, that's what you're thinking? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And then, um, and then you are measuring the length of this to that septal mm. perforator. Mm. And th so just in case they, they didn't hear uh, at the, the, uh, in the auditorium, so that was 31 millimeters. Yes. So you're going to put a 3 of yes. 31. Yes. Yeah. Three and three. then potentially, then, then you dilate the, the yes. more proximal part yes. to 4 o. Yes. Okay. Yes. I think it's a very reasonable mm. strategy. Mm. OK, thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. OK. Is there anyone on the panel uh, there that would uh, approach this differently, just in terms of uh, placement of the stent and the size of the stent? I, I, I agree that the site There is some says significant disease in that uh, ramus or high diagonal. Why not a bifurcation culotte technique? Culotte? Huh. Test. I don't like. Uh -huh. oh, that's fine. Mm. More booked. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So I in this case, I think there are a big size uh, yes. size mismatch in the, yes. the LED okay. proximal yeah. and distal, and therefore the uh, the cytosensor select the three O right. Yes. And gently yes. put the stand to avoid the distal edge dissection, and then you try to do the the part. Uh, Yes. Right. To, to adjust the size in the proximal, right? Okay, yes. Okay, thank you. <coughs> so, so what was the pressure you had? 10 uh, atmospheres. 10, ten, ten atmospheres. Ten. So cautious dilation. Yeah. And uh, do you have uh, uh, 3.5 by no. 8? 3.5 by 8 balloon? Mm, balloon. Shall we take a picture? Okay. A oh, uh, six. Yeah, fine. So I think we do see just a, a little bit of pinching of yeah. the origin of that diagonal. Yeah. But otherwise, it's good. Mm. 
So do, do, do you think that we expect if we, get, if we get a good result here in the proximal LED that uh, in time that the mid and distal LED, do you think that with uh, the passage of time and better flow that this is going to be a bigger vessel? Hmm. After a time? Yeah. More distally. So this is a pot. Pot balloon, 3.5 by 8, a uh, 6. Okay. Test. You want to keep balloon in diagonal also? Okay, here. Otherwise, with the 3.5, it will be 10, 10, 12, 10. 14. 14 atmospheres, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, shall we take a picture? Yes, it's good. So the I will do the crossovering of the wire, okay? Exchange. And then Example of uh, getting access into that diagonal by pulling the LED wire back and just letting it drop in there rather than trying to, to come into it to uh, anti-grade. So, so what, what is your uh, plan now? To, to assess this I, further I, or do you think it's going to need to be treated? I want to do a kissing balloon at this moment. So we need two balloons. Okay. Mm. Uh, maybe three Would anyone on the panel uh, approach this any differently? Three o, three o two what do you think about doing another eye to see the mechanism of pinching to see oh, how much point is uh, point carinal point shift point. versus plaque okay. shift? Oh. They recommend to do an uh, eye bus. Okay. 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 So diagonal first one is diagonal. This is LED. LED. So first to do LED, eye bus. Dr. Saito, do you, do you think that uh, further imaging is helpful here or not? I don't know, but uh, they request, so they, I will do. <laughs> Why don't they request it? They're just asking. <laughs> 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 I think you have to do what you yes. think is best. I, I'm interested in it. Anyway. Interested in uh, it, yeah. Uh. Yes, Saito-sensei, in this case, I hmm. think OCT is much better to identify the, the yes. strut and wire condition. but. Uh, I understand, but uh, uh, in this room, we don't have a yes, OCT. Yes, yes, I know, yes. Therefore, hmm. uh, after the pullback, uh, hmm. you try to push in the uh, IBUS at the site of the, the 
the bifurcation at, and we can confirm the, the wire position yes, very, yes. very well, right? Yes. Okay. This is going to LED, okay? From here. Ah, okay. please rotate. Rotate, start. Okay, starting. Mm. Here. Mm. Can you see the auto cell? On the down there? 2.5. 2.5. Around the septal, uh, mm. yes. Uh, the position is the ideal as the cytosensei plan, right? Mm. And uh, the yeah, symmetricity is very wonderful. Yeah, well expand. Yeah, coming gross. Yes. yes. But I want I really want to expand more. Okay. This is a bifurcation. Yeah. The wire is wire coming. Wire is coming in the uh. proximal side, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, And the wire is inside now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Oh. Okay. Just just at the bifurcation to suck. Okay, I so now do you have any information why the pinch is occurring? Uh, we could not see the, the longitudinal mm. view, mm. but uh, mm. uh, there are no plug at the, mm. uh, the, the diagonal site. Mm. Therefore, mm. Uh, the main cause of this pinch might be the Carina shift. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, at this moment, if I'm trying to cross the uh, Ibis catheter to the diagonal, mm -hmm. there might be some, uh, you know, uh, catching of the Ibis catheter by the stent strut. Mm -hmm. So it might be dangerous. I, I think so, yes. Yes, yeah, so the now I want to take the 3 O balloon and the 2.5 millimeter balloon together, mm -hmm. okay? Oh. Three, 3 O sizes? Mm -hmm. Uh, 15. 3 or 15 and mm. 2? Two? 2, uh, 15 as well. Both 15. Both 15. 3 or 15, 2.5 might be different. What do we have? This is? 2.5, 15 and 15. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So first, I want to cross. That is the uh, diagonal. Okay. Yeah. This is inflated balloon. It's okay mm. for mm. you? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I try. Uh, two point five. Okay. And a three. Three. Five. We have a three balloon. Okay. Three. Both new on. Both new on. Fifteen. Fifteen. No. Fifteen. Fifteen. No. Okay. How about NC, the NC? Balloon? NC. No. No, no NC. Regular. Yeah. Regular. Regular. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. Uh -huh. For a diagonal. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, first I want to cross that one. Do you have uh, another dilator? Yeah. Yes. This is diagonal. Mm -hmm. Okay. First, I want to close this one. Yeah, 
could you show us the I bus again? Yeah, try to check the wire position, right? Yes, yes, yes. The bifurcation, yes. This is for LED. Wire comes now, right? Yes, yes. I, I'm wondering why is uh, the, the proximal cell, right? Yeah, yeah. sensei Yes. Yeah, I, I'm just wondering the way uh, of the side branch. Yeah. Just uh, comes comes out uh, the proximal side of the the side branch, right? Uh. That means there. That also differentiate very well. Now, now the way uh, is uh, move proximally slowly, slowly, slowly. Now, uh, yes, much slower. So yes, slower, slower. Yes, yes. Now, why comes uh, the, the the six? O'clock, right? The, the, yes, and then comes, comes, comes. Yes, still uh, side branch comes, 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 comes. Yes, uh, six fifteen. Yes, comes. Yes, comes, 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 comes. Still yes, under the the stent strut, and then still under strut. And then comes out uh, s still under the strut, yes. And then still uh, uh, still under strut, and then comes out. Uh, um, yes, that's that comes out, right? Hmm. And uh, the question is, uh, in this kind of situation, you mm -hmm. know, the uh, the pinch is caused by the Carina shift. Yes. So it is uh, a matter of the uh, decision whether the we have to cross the proximal or distal part. I think if you have stent boost, that can also be applied here. Stent boost, you can see exactly the stent and uh, balloon wire crossing also. Philip has stent boost. Stent Philip. boost? Stent boost? Yeah, stent boost. In that you can see the exact wire crossing. Okay, we can do stent boost ah. here. Yeah, it will be. This is G machine. Achha, okay, yeah. then. Is it possible? Just, just a moment. This is in the Philip. So Akasaka sensei, uh, yes. the the pinch is caused by the Carina shift. Uh, yes, okay? yes. So the in that short kind scene, of situation, short still scene. the short scene. short scene. Okay. Now. Yeah. For a stand boost. Okay. 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 In this kind of situation, still the crossing uh, where the wire is crossing proximal or distal is a uh, matter of issue? Uh, yes, I think uh, the, the distal is much better uh, because uh, the, uh, we can avoid uh, the metal carina. Uh, I, I, I'm not planning to avoid the metal carina. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, I see. Because if it is a proximal, we can much more press the carina to the LED side. So, any information from, huh? Which, ah, now in process. Still, we have to wait. Oh, uh, this one, uh, still wait. This is not the final. This is the final image. How do you think? Can, can you see the, uh, the stand boost images? Uh, 
You can see? No, no, no. Another view? No, we, we can't see. You can see in the epicranial view? Cranial view? Okay. This is the best view? This is perfect view, this one is. Is it okay? Stand. Okay. Hmm? Oh. What? He told me that uh, size of the balloon and stand both are remain same. But really? Yeah, this, this ah. I'm sorry, uh, we cannot uh, measure by using a center boost in this situation because we have to change, we have changed the balloon from the delivery, uh, stand to delivery balloon. Okay? So, the, the next question is, uh, as I asked Dr. Akasaka, it's still in this situation, it's a very important issue or not? I think, uh, if, for example, uh, if we dilate diagonal fast, the metal carina shifts to the LAD, and then mm. uh, if you dilate LAD, the, the metal carina uh, back to the, the same position, right? So, but, uh, uh, can you understand what I want to say? Hmm. So the distal cell selection is, is, is uh, much more important to do the, 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 this kissing balloon. Uh, by IBAS, uh, it is by my understanding the, the wire is the crossing the, the proximal cell. Hmm. So, in that situation, if I'm uh, changing the uh, crossing point mm -hmm. from the uh, distal to the uh, proximal to the distal, I have to take the another wire while leaving this wire here. Ye yes, or uh, in our institution, we try to use a crusade or double room and cassette. I'm not sure here you have or not, but no. Uh, uh, it's uh, very useful because there are two markers within uh, uh, five or one centimeter, I forgot, uh, five millimeter. Uh, if we push in the, 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 the double room and catheter in the diagonal branch, we can identify the two markers and then pull back a little bit and then try to oh yes, uh, insert uh, the wire to the, the, the double room and, and select the diagonal and then if we push in, it might be difficult to cross the two markers to the diagonal. That means uh, one more uh, wire. Uh, Which one? One overhanging wire. the uh, stand strut. Which yeah. wire? Wo 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 wire? No, guide wire. You know, it seems a very sophisticated analysis and uh, discussion of a, of a problem that I think a lot of us uh, are not faced with because we don't do a lot of uh, imaging in this uh, situation. Oh, sorry. So I, I mean, I'm curious from the panel, uh, is this a situation that you wrestle with uh, if you're imaging here or in terms of the placement of that wire, proximal or distal? Uh, my this one is if we take in diagonal slightly bigger balloon and overlap that balloon uh, with this LED and both balloons are inflated simultaneously, there won't be any plaque shift. I think the debate can be on that also. If this diagonal balloon is also slightly bigger, and uh, or you can pull it and then inflate it simultaneously both balloons, then plaque shift will not be there. Even if the wire has gone in the start, it will make the wire stand morphology very uh, according to the vessel. I, I believe that that's what Dr. Saito wanted to do initially until we persuaded him to do intravascular ultrasound. Sometimes we have just too much information, but <laughs> it, it's, a, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's been very educational <laughs> for all of us. <laughs> Yeah, in the crossover technique, uh, we try to select a distal cell as possible as we can, right? It might be better to, to have a good result. 
But by, by this I was, I, I can speculate the wire is in the, in the proximal uh, cell. Uh, I, I think it was a very astute uh, observation of yours. Um, and, and, I th and I'm sure that that's what Dr. Saito was doing as he was pulling his wire back, uh, you're hoping it would catch that uh, distal cell. There is disease in the mid and distal part of the diagonal as well. So any plans to fix that as well? We are, going to, are you going to use a longer, much longer stent to cover that distal lesion in the diagonal? Dr. Kasaka? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Can, can you store the image, floral image here now? Yeah, Saito sensei can selected the distal cell, yes. So, uh, Dr. Kasaka, do you have any uh, data comparing the distal cell selection or proximal cell selection? Uh, yes. Uh, mm. Now there are uh, data based mm. on the OCT. Mm. Yeah. Uh, if there are lots of metal at the Carina this site. Is the yeah. 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 This is already? This is already? Yeah. This is the. Yeah. Professor Akasaka, uh, can no. I ask you in the meanwhile no. one question? This is uh, somewhere I read no. in some studies that this in the it. left main bifurcation, it may be okay to yes. do the proximal uh, <laughs> crossing. In the non-left main bifurcation, it's always better to do the distal. Is, is any data there on that? I think uh, we are not, uh, yes, uh, separately uh, uh, compared, so but uh, even in uh, left main bifurcation mm. or uh, uh, non-left main bifurcation, if there are lots of <coughs> stalag on the, the Kalina side, <coughs> there are some risk of stenosis. So that is the reason why we recommend to have uh, mm. uh, distal cell selection. It makes uh, a much better <laughs> condition, yes. <coughs> yeah, Saito sensei, it is an only the Japanese registry based on OCT. Mm. Uh, statistically, there are no significant difference at the moment because of the small mm. number. Mm. That is the reason why the Dr. Shite want to have an much more uh, bigger registry up to uh, 600 to demonstrate uh, the, the difference of uh, distal cell selection and proximal cell selection. That, okay. that, that is the reason why okay. I'm just Start. asking. Start. Okay, so we're looking at the ultrasound now uh, again after the wire is repositioned. Again, you can all see the ultrasound down there. Yeah, wire comes, yes, um, 7 o'clock, right? Hmm. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, put, uh, compared with previous condition, a little bit, yes, hmm. distal, yes. Okay. So, so, so everyone is happy now? Should be. <laughs> Should be. <laughs> <laughs> so, first I want to put the wire to diagonal, ah no, balloon, balloon. to diagonal. Okay, diagonal. The 2.5. <coughs> and I, th I believe with respect to that question about that more distal disease in that uh, diagonal, I think the plan was just to do kissing balloon here. Is that correct, Dr. Saito? Yes. And only if uh, there's a need to stent, I guess, would that be taken into consideration. Mm -hmm. So I, th I think they were going to use a relatively short balloon here. Yeah. This is a 
So, so what size uh, balloons are we using here then? Yeah. 2.5 grand. 2.5. 12. 12 in the diagonal. 315 in LED. 315 in the LED. Okay, uh, because uh, from I was finding, we have some some uh, room for uh, further dilatation to the stand. Well, you a are very ready? proximal part, for no, sure. No, no, uh, also the distal. Yeah, and the distal, mm. yes. So, uh, only LED first, okay? Okay, yeah, to 16. Mm. Okay. 16, 1, 6. Mm. Okay, deflate. 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 Then come to the proxima. Okay, so another dilatation. 16. 16. Okay. Yeah. And remembering it was only deployed at 10 atmospheres initially. Yes. And maybe they come to the this Previous projection. View, this quarter. Hello, quarter. Uh, this is the diagonal. This is diagonal. Test, please. Maybe he's fine. Okay, shall we take a picture? Okay. Okay, here. Go 12, 12. Both 12. Mm, both 12. Here. Yeah. Bubble. This bubble. Mm. Okay. 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 Yeah. Deflate. And please check. Ah, more proximal. Okay, here. One more dilatation, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Twelve, twelve. Twelve, twelve. <coughs> oh, slipped. Huh. Okay, deflate. Maybe test, please. I think it's enough. Okay. Shall we do IBUS? to LED. This one is LED. Mm. This one is LED. This one. Okay. <coughs> if this one, this is uh, not IBUS OCT, it might be more clear. Okay, from okay. here. Okay.
coming. Huh. Okay. Then I will do I was to diagonal. So do we have any opinion from the panel about the, uh, the ultrasound findings? No pericardial effusion. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's a very important finding. <laughs> uh, distal LAD size in increased uh, a little bit and uh, the symmetricity become better and uh, I think uh, the proximal, uh, there are only one strut, uh, out, yes, comes out to the, the left main, but uh, okay. there are Start. no problem, right? Start. Mm. I was. Mm. I was. From the uh, diagonal. So I was in the, dia the diagonal now. Mm. LED is coming. Huh. Huh. That, that is metal carina. Huh. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. So, how do you think? I think uh, the result is acceptable. Yes, yes. The result is acceptable, right. So I think by angiography, it's going to look even more than acceptable. Hmm. I can remove the wire up to this moment. Maybe can do. Okay. Okay. Just shot. Hmm. And uh, epicrania. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I can finish. Well, that's Thank a be you. Beautiful Thank result. You. Uh, we're, you. we're very, very <laughs> impressed, and uh, the patient Thank will be you. very happy. Thank congratulations. You. Uh, All right. Uh, congratulations, the wonderful results. Thank you very Thank much. You.